uh, I, I don't know if I necessarily say it's a, it's, a, it's a bleak outlook. It's a challenging outlook. And when the figures you gave about uh, 200,000 people in the state with teaching credentials and only 100,000 teaching, uh, p part of that sometimes has to do with the natural attrition that takes place in education. Within a five-year period, sometimes as high as 46% of the teachers um, who um, graduated with degrees in teaching and, and start teaching leave the profession for various reasons. And so part of that isn't that there might not be jobs. Part of that is that some people have self-selected themselves out of the profession. Uh, I will say this, that because Ohio um, is losing uh, population or, or it's not gaining steadily enough, uh, like some of the other states, obviously if, if you were conducting this interview in the, in the uh, Sun Belt, you were in North Carolina, you were in Florida, you were in Texas, um, people, jobs would be more plentiful. That, that is a reality. But there's still opportunities in Ohio, and particularly in certain subject areas like math, science, special education, and areas of that nature where there are still jobs. So. So although it is challenging, uh, it isn't uh, impossible. And I would encourage those who truly have the interest uh, and, and have the skill sets uh, and want to teach uh, that they shouldn't be discouraged by the current numbers or the fact that uh, you know, layoffs are coming. And part of that has to do with finances. And like I said before, that Ohio's population is not increasing at the rate that would um, consume some of the teachers who are coming out uh, in Ohio schools.